Sorry about that. Fellas, this thing's a rocket ship. I think if you don't get the whole shot on this, you probably messed up because it wheelied all the way up the driveway. wasn't even close to the rev limiter. There's still plenty left. It just it's the reason why is the engine's brand new. It would just completely rebuild it from the crank up. It's got brand new piston, brand new rings, and brand new base gasket, brand new head gasket. The entire head assembly was replaced. Uh, the intake was gone through. The brand new air filter carb was rebuilt. Fuel tank rinsed out. Uh, pretty much everything was done. All the gaskets, seals, the pistons, rings, everything on the top end is new on this bike. So the engine was removed from the frame. The, while the engine was out, it was down at the detail shop and they polished the frame rails, uh, steam cleaned the whole bike, polished the swing arm, and went through the whole thing top to bottom. Uh, Andrew did quite a bit of work on this. I uh, got a 30 hour work order on this between him and the detail shop. But starting at the front, it's got a, Ta a Takasaga XL rim with a new Dunlop tire on it and a new tube. The uh, front fender is brand new, the front number plate's brand new, the bars are new Pro Taper bars, the fat bars, with a new Works Connection blue anodized clutch lever and uh, clutch perch, a set of ODI grips, uh, has a red, white, and blue Pro Taper crossbar pad, it's got the anodized gas cap cover, it's got a new seat cover on it, uh, new radiator shrouds, new radiator shroud graphics, new number plates, new rear fender. Uh, it has a new hardware kit on the engine. When the engine was out, Andrew replaced all the hardware. As you can see, all the brand new bolts, and they repainted the clutch cover. It's got GPI hoses. The water pump was rebuilt. Uh, it has an FF, FMF power bomb header with the Power Core 4 exhaust silencer. You can see on there, so it's a full FMF system. It has the uh, radiator braces on here. As you can see, the aluminum radiator braces on both sides uh, just a kick-ass machine these these are awesome for woods riding or they're primarily designed for motocross but if you're doing jd racing or hair scrambles even has a tie down uh, hooks right here so you don't have to go to your bars and scratch up your new bars uh, lots of new hardware new seat mount bolts new new hardware for the um plastic kit on it of course all the fluids are new in it new brake fluids new engine coolant new engine oil um, every bike, an inch of the bike was gone over. The pegs have been upgraded to the IMS Pro Series in black. That's the original brake lever. If you come around this side, you see that this is an IMS Pro Series peg along with a uh, upgraded shifter with the anodized tip. The en when the engine was apart, they painted the, the uh, ignition cover uh, and the ignition inspection. All new hardware on the side right here. A uh, new Renthal sprocket with a new gold chain and an Acerbis blue um, chain guide. So frame rails polished on this side, polished the lower frame rails over here. Just a beautiful piece. Um, hard to find 254 strokes that have been gone through like this because it's really expensive to do it. Most shops to do an engine rebuild will, will charge between three and four thousand. Uh, this one's done. The four strokes are awesome, but they're Obviously, much more expensive than to do a two-stroke. You, you, you could have a shop do a two-stroke top end for less than half the price of a four-stroke, or you could do it yourself for probably 400 bucks. But uh, the, the parts are expensive. Um, this one needed a new head and piston and ring, so the whole top end is new on it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a bike that's ready to rumble, it's got a brand new engine in it, new tires, new chains of sprockets, new plastics, new graphics. Uh, let's see what else. Is that I forgot about here. Uh, oh, I forgot. New front, when you had the wheels off, basically dismantled the entire bike to be completely apart. Engine was out, wheels were, sets were off, the whole drive chain, everything was off of it. Uh, you put new front wheel bearing on it, a uh, new rear wheel bearing, new front brake pads, a new mud flap shock protector, um, new twin air filter, uh, new poly sport fork guards, the uh, new brake lever, of course the clutch lever, mentioned already 
And I forgot to mention the swing arm plug is brand new on this side too. And probably a couple other things that we forgot to write down, but it's been completely reconditioned. Brand new engine and uh, tuned by Andrew here at Capital Cycles, and it's ready to go. If you're looking for a 250 that's ready to rumble, you can't go wrong with this Yamaha. These are legendary reliability. They won multiple nationals championships with, with this engine. In fact, Deegan, who uh, just won't clinch the AMA Pro National 2D class championship this year, I saw him at, at, on the videos. He was uh, holding the throttle wide open, wide open, trying to blow the bike up. And the team, like different members of the team would came over. They had things wide open for like 10 minutes. They just gave up. It wouldn't blow up. They are just pretty much, these engines have become pr pretty much uh, uh, the standard, the YZs. So kick-ass machine. This 07 is as clean as they come, and uh, it's ready for a new home. It's not a brand new bike, but it's completely reconditioned. It looks looks to be, if you didn't know bikes, and you looked at it from 10 foot, you'd think it was a new bike. It's that nice. See all the, 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 the entire clutch side of the engine was off, and there's all new gaskets in there. The water pump was rebuilt. I think I forgot to mention that. Um, some of the remaining new hardware, uh, like the, the hose clamps are original. Um, you could always upgrade those or some of the hardware back here, but we had to draw a line in the sand somewhere because we had, there, there's over 30 hours of shop labor at 150 bucks an hour is what we bill out for. So we've already got more into it than, than uh, parts, over two grand in parts. It adds up quick. So uh, more into it than it's worth. So we had to draw a line in the sand in order to keep it somewhat affordable. So um, the bike will be sold for, you know, I'll buy it now uh, well under five grand. So. Less than, less, than, less than it would cost to have a shop do all this work for you. But I gotta keep the guys busy, and this was in the to-do list, so uh, once we get started, there's no turning back, man. So hopefully it'll get a new home that somebody really enjoys it. Gets a lot of fun miles at it. All you gotta do is change the air filter on this thing and change the oil. They're basically uh, low maintenance. Low maintenance bikes just keep fresh oil and good gas and a clean air filter. It's, Typical Yamaha reliability. Thanks for watching. God bless America.